Hello, this is Thibaut for another animation tutorial video. So today we're gonna see a horizontal scroll and a little bit more. Still with uh, bricks, builder and motion page. So let's see how it looks like. So horizontal by horizontal scroll, I mean section sliding or let's say scrolling horizontally. Slide one, then going to slide two, slide three and slide four and it's over okay i let's see how it looks like even on mobile device it seems to be fine change even position that's fine too okay so let's see how it's done so let's go to bricks builder so it's easy uh structure well, not easy but quite simple structure so i always have my start and end sections so to be able to proper to be able to see the uh, properly the um, the animation then i have a track a diff track this one is important it will contain the four slides the four sections that uh, i'm animating so this track is the important part is okay the size but it's position relative because all the four sections will be position absolute so the parent has to be relative and overflow hidden so we don't have a, a, a strange things going on on the browser then i have my slides simple i gave horizontal slide uh, um, class which uh, give the design for the four slides the same one so basically it's position absolute sorry this one position absolute it's taking the full screen and i'm giving a, also another class especially for this slide to give on one hand the z index because they are position absolute so they are sitting on top of each other but i want the slide one to be on top so I'm giving a Z, Z index of four. And also I'm giving uh, the background color that's specific to this slide. Then the slide number two, we can see it because it's behind, but it has another background color and the Z index is three. So below the slide one, slide three below the slide two and the slide four, the last one, below with a z index of one so that's pretty basic structure so nothing complicated uh, normally then let's go to motion page motion page i'm using scroll trigger with a, a delay of one second but that one is not that that important um then I pin element so it's the track so uh, the, the one the diff track that I've mentioned earlier then it's pin as usual 0% top and minus 100% bottom and I'm giving 200% offset to give a kind of friction to the, the scrolling then what I'm giving is I'm animating uh, as you can see, I'm only animating uh, four slides, three slides, sorry, because the last one doesn't need to be animated because it's it's there, it doesn't have to move. So what I'm doing is I'm doing uh, from there's nothing, and I'm doing a two, and I'm using, you saw that in other videos, a clip path, and I'm using 
uh, in set. So when it's in set is is as I remember in set is to give um, value to the top, to the right, to the bottom, and to the left. So I'm when it's zero, it means it's next. It's um, let's say the longest position, the, the the basic position. The everything is visible. But if I put hundred percent. Here you can see on the uh, uh, right, it's pushing the slide to the left. So that's why we have it's pushing, you see, it's decreasing. Okay. Then I'm doing that for each slide. So that's that's why it's giving this, I think, nice, nice scrolling sliding effect. But that's not all for today because that was quite not simple but quite short. So what I have done is to do other type of transition. So as you can see, I have five transition. So I will go to the transition number two. So when you have you will have the template, don't forget to enable or disable the fine. Enable the one that you want to see and but disable the other one. Otherwise it's not gonna work. I mean there will be several timelines going on at the same time, so the the browser, the computer will does will not know what to do. So it will be com uh, confusing for him. For and uh, so and for you, <laughs> so uh, don't forget about that. So I'm going to the scroll horizontal version two. So I'm refreshing, and let's see the other animation. So slide one, and then I have a kind of rounded transition between the four slides. You see, then. Let's go to version three. So I'm hiding, let's say, uh, disabling the version two. I'm enabling the version three. I'm refreshing. And then the other one is kind of transversal transition. I don't know if you like it or not, but it's just to give uh, another approach another taste to the to the sliding effect then let's go to number four number four so i'm refreshing number four is the following so in the corner same as the rounded one but instead of being in the middle it's on the top okay and then the last one, the version 5. Again, I'm refreshing. That will be another type of transition. And it's almost OK, it's done. So, okay, so I hope you enjoyed the, the tutorial and the video and I'll see you for next one. Bye.